We sent down a team uh, to, to uh, learn from the experiences down in Seattle. City of Vancouver planners and engineers have been keeping a close eye on Seattle commuters as this week marks the first full week of driving since the 3.5 kilometer Alaskan Way viaduct came down. Demolition work on the Georgia and Dunsmuir viaduct slated to begin sometime this year and there's a lot of work to be done. The first phase of our project is to work on that replacement road network. So what people will be seeing happening first is the expansion of Pacific Boulevard into a wider two-way uh, street and the uh, replacement um, uh, sewer and other infrastructure. Uh, so that'll take about uh, two years. After that, uh, we will be looking to uh, demolish the existing viaducts and build the new replacements. The Seattle viaduct carried around 100,000 vehicles per day. Its replacement includes a four-lane tunnel to help ease congestion. That'll open to traffic next month. The city's warned drivers to expect at least three weeks of potential delays as construction crews realign the highway. The Georgia and Dunsmuir viaducts were built in the 1970s. They were meant to be a direct link from downtown Vancouver to Highway 1. But that never happened, as communities were opposed to the idea of tearing down buildings in areas like Strathcona, the downtown east side, and Chinatown to build the freeway system. Today, they carry up to 45,000 vehicles per day in and out of downtown Vancouver. And when they're gone, this area will soon be getting social housing, parks, and public spaces in its place. They're getting a, a much better city in the part of certainly the central area that will be growing the fastest. It will feel very different. And we will wonder, what were we thinking when we built the, the viaducts in the first place? The city of Vancouver says it's ready for the project. So it's not without its challenges, but it is something that we feel is quite is going to be manageable uh, and then once it's open uh, the replacement road network will should be far superior to the existing road network that means vancouver drivers will soon have to adapt to a new four-lane ramp extension at west georgia street between bc play stadium and rogers arena to connect with pacific boulevard in vancouver andrea mcpherson city news